this was the beginning of defining what was patrimony. But then, in 1972, the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment uh, give the dimension of environment to the development of the world. Before, the development was studied only in the economic and social aspects. And in this moment, the environment began to play a role in development. This is very important because it's a big change in analyzing and studying development. In this moment, they create a World Commission on Sustainable Development and Environment. And in 1987, it was given a very important document called Our Coming Future. And in this moment began the definition of sustainable development that didn't exist before. And it say that sustainable development is the development that satisfies the needs of the present without compromising the capacity of the future generation to satisfy their own needs. From that moment, it began a whole development in each country of, to define what will be the sustainable development in the countries and in the continents. And uh, this process finished with the Program 21 or Agenda 21 that was a big meeting done in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in 1992. And uh, in, in these uh, agreements worldwide was given the uh, approach that we are looking for the world, a world that will be economically economically efficient uh, with social justice and taking care of the environment. In the same year and in the same moment was approved the Framework Convention on Climate Change, the principles for the sustainable management of forestry, and the Rio principles. Uh, in the beginning, um, we uh, study the Convention on Biological Diversity because in, in, in that moment, in 1992, the people was uh, putting a lot of attention to the bi biological diversity. But later on, it was more important, the climate change do all the problems that we are have now in the world. This Convention on Biological Diversity came into force in 1993 and was the first global agreement on conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity and served as a blueprint for national actions. And this convention established three main goals, the conservation of the biological diversity, the sustainable use of its components, and the fair and equitable sharing of the benefits from the use of genetic resources. Um, the, when, when a convention is approved uh, in, in one of these meetings by the ministers or the presidents of the countries, need to go to the Congress of each country to be approved. When the conventions are approved by the uh, Congress, they, for that country, belong, begins to belong to the um, part of that convention. <laughs>